On first down, crowd comes to life. They'll fake the handoff to Mingarelli down the field. Pass is caught at the 31. And spinning for pop appearance ever in the semifinal round. Mangarelli on second and short, left side, first down and then some. Ahead to the 45, that'll move the chain. One, we asked him yesterday, are you going to be nervous going into this one? He said, not a chance. Met at the line of scrimmage by Cornell Urquhart. On second down, floats it deep, looking for Winicky. Incomplete in a late flight. Heard of him. Mel Kuyper's heard of Jake Winicky. I'll tell you that, and he's on a lot of draft boards. That's a nice call by the referee. A home game here at James Madison. Defending national champions are the Dukes. Here's Winicky, first catch. We'll go. Game, but right now, Dallas got it, the big tight end, out of the game. They'll fake it to Megarelli. Winicky wide open and off the camera. For a gain of 17. Well, and all of a sudden, he got caught on an island. Moreland did. He made a great play of batting the ball. But as you mentioned, Roy, Winicky makes a better. Christian with all kinds of time. Loops it deep, looking for Winicky, and it's out of bounds. And the seventh play of the drive, Mingarelli straight ahead, nice hole. Hit hard, ball came out. And now a scrum at the 20. James Madison football. Comes out. Oh, wow. That was that was just a huge hit. It looked like that fumble. That was just a huge play by the JMU defense. After the stop by the Jackrabbits, looking for Winnicky, passes in victory against Sam Houston State. After trailing three nothing early, it was all North Dakota State late. Winnicky on the back shoulder toss, incomplete. Christian with time ball popped out, and it was kicked, picked up by the Dukes inside the five. Well, and Brandon Herford, yeah, sure enough, Roy, the ball just slipped out of his hands as he was bringing it back to throw, and then I believe the ball was spotted. Brandon Herford, the inside line. Jack Rabbits in their two losses this season. Saw the opposition score first both times. And Dallas Goddard grabs the pass. Didn't know if he was going to even show up on the field. He actually catches a pass here in our first quarter. Isaac Wallace straight ahead. Athleticism for a guy that could be playing in his last collegiate contest. Here comes pressure from the cornerback. And down goes Christian. Well, Jimmy. At Taron Christian, the quarterback. And right there, he brings an extra defender up in. Out Arkansas and Clemson as well. After a loss of six, Christian pressured again. And the junior floats it downfield. Dangerous toss. Picked off at the 25. The Stood tall to get the football back to their very potent offense. Winicky on first down. Stays alive ahead the midfield. In yard average. Deep give, Isaac Wallace near side, sent out at the 40. That, that, that's pretty impressive. No doubt about that. Inside give to Wallace. Nice shutter step and a jump cut. All the way to Dakota community. Now going with tempo. The pass sails out of bounds looking for Jacob Brown. A servant. And I don't think any of us could come up with a single name. Here's Christian. Dangerous toss incomplete. They're in a real crucial territory here, Roy. They want to get points. They don't want to squander the opportunity. You really can't take a little easier distance. Jacks are 0 for 2 on third down tonight. Christian Flush once again. Backside pressure. Down he goes. The ball popped out. Darius Carter, the Virginia transfer. Darius Carter applying all kinds of pressure. Well, they were trying to run a tight end screen. I think he was down when the ball hit. His knee is down there. And the ball appeared for the JMU. Play of a fumble and recovery by the defense is under review. He gets a good look at it. After review, the ruling on the play is confirmed. Yeah. First down, JMU. They'll fake the sweep to Johnson. Christian with time, looking deep for Winicky. Man on man coverage. Is it picked off again? It is. Jimmy Moreland, his second interception. 
Jake Winicky, and he's running just a, a straight line post, and the throw is right between the hash marks, right where it needs to be, and Winicky tries to bat the ball away at the last moment. He's not trying to catch the ball. He's trying to bat it away at the last moment, knowing that Moreland is high on his high shoulder and more. You mentioned the offensive metrics through the roof. Inside give. Mingarelli brought down to the 29. Well, and Roy, the only points off turnovers were the seven points that JMU got off those five. Second carry since the fumble by Mingarelli. Will result in a first down. 35 yards on five carries for Brady Mingarelli. Christian in the pocket. Dangerous toss incomplete looking for Goddard. Tremendous year. He got hurt last week in the win against Weber State. Mingarelli sandwiched between two defenders at the four. Fastest running back for the Jacks in the backfield. That's Isaac Wallace. And here comes the quarterback keeper and all kinds of real estate. There goes Christian ushered out. At the he played three games into his senior high school year, hurt his knee, and he was also a track athlete. So he's about a 10 7. Crowd comes to life again after the longest play of the night for South Dakota State. Wallace, a pretty spin move, a nifty move as well near the 15. Wallace just sees the play develop in front of him, and then he makes a great cut and spin move, as you mentioned there, Roy. And Trick in the red zone this year. Seventh play of the drive. Wallace. Bumped down inside the field. Kane Lusher, the fullback, standing at the 12. A play action touchdown to Winicky. And the with his 281 receptions coming in, just phenomenal. But right there, credit the play act that injured leg. And you know, is it bothering him enough to have an impact? Wallace on the jump cut across the up in the Fargo Dome. 54 yards a night for Isaac Wallace. He'll add to that total. As Wallace pushes ahead across. Christian with time. Has a man open. That's Winnicky, and it's batted away at the last minute. Of course, Aaron Stinney. Mangarelli on second and long. Ona Sorge doing a nice job blocking the All-American center for South Dakota State, Tom. That South Dakota State uses, I think it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Wallace sandwich. From the 49, Christian makes one cut. Can't make it. Well, watch the guard. He ends up pulling around and get, getting a nice block. And again, they block down, down, and they pull the guard around. And time since his last completion. And he needs one here. Shovel pass. Goddard makes a move, makes a cut, reaches ahead. That's a first down. He catches the little shuttle play, hurdles a guy, and then El Kuiper. Wallace dives down to the Christian across the middle too high for Goddard. Six in the box for the Dukes. Christian straight ahead on third down. Pops it out. Christian sent out of bounds about four yards. Christian across the middle. Goddard and broke it up. A late flat. How far do you stay off him when you're undersized? You got to maul him. Pressure off the edge. Inside give to Wallace. Not to show how down he was because he couldn't make it on the practice field due to that lower leg injury. Christian, last one of the best in the country. Christian, conservative play call, tripped up. He'll gain a yard. Well. Hawkins again making a great play. He had 13 tackles last week against Weber State, and he's had it's imperative to, to get a long distance drive here and get some points out of it. Seven in the box. Mangarelli straight ahead. A gain of 12. Play action. Got it. All American tied in, rumbling into plus territory. Reception for 34 yards. On first down, he'll float it. 86 can't corral it this time. Well, at ESPN. On second down.
Wallace had no one. and 11, you got two guys you need to go to. Those are your playmakers. Shovel pass, broken up. That's not a fumble. It's not a live. Low center of gravity. I mean, he, you know, low man wins, right? That's what I always say at the line of scrimmage. Christian with time. Winnikey's open, and it's incomplete. That are there, they're not finding that connection. Well, they've had Winnicky a couple times tonight on the deep post, and one time Moreland made a spectacular interception. He'll throw it again. Here comes pressure. Down he goes. Ankra. Haven't talked about Andrew Ankra. He's just gonna come in and beat his man. And here's a guy who again is a next level guy. Two times never said a word. He said, Coach, whatever it takes, I'll be part of it. Love it. It's been a struggle on third down tonight. Wallace on the quick screen by the Bison. First down, Christian back in there. Play action to Goddard. Wrapped up, crossing the 30. Brown in motion. Mingarelli straight ahead. That'll move the chains. And of course, South Dakota State this year knocking off North Dakota, North Dakota State in. Sean Robinson records the fifth sack of the night for JMU. This is a different game. Oh, it's just a huge, another huge defensive call to bring a corner, and he lost it again. Ball is loose. Did Mangarelli get on top of it? That's a second time tonight. Taryn Christian has lost control of the football trying to throw. They've been very generous, allowing our cameras in the locker room, but we have gotten some great material. Looking for Gale another the next couple of weeks. The FBS ranks James Madison done a nice job creating its own breaks in this magnificent 25. You got to you got to bring everything and you got to go for it on fourth downs and you got to make spectacular plays and you might even have to get lucky a few times. Okay, not not anytime soon. Okay. I, I think maybe deeper into the fourth quarter because right now South Dakota State the way they can score to get back in it. Go for it on fourth down. Let's see. Inside give, they'll pick up the first down into JMU territory. Blitz, and they've blitzed corners tonight. Another blitz coming off the slot, and just creating another problem. Christian's going to be picked off. Raven Green, near sideline, number five, for another JMU touchdown. Green, it'd be great if he had a great game. And again, they bring a player off the slot the look changes Roy and then Raven Green just jumps the route steps in front of the pass and the look you're gonna see Robinson come off and get the blitz and then here's Raven Green he kind of sits down in and ends up just fooling Christian again he ends up jumping the route just really not a great throw and Raven Green though boy big names in coaching Christian back on the field looking for Goddard and he's picked off again when it ran Winnicky top of your screen Christian will look the other way to Goddard who hauls it in in the back corner boom and they convert it to points immediately going up to Goddard and just a great Goddard with the banged up leg injury at all Main's in there, and Christian's pass sails high on the two-point play. What are the incentives James Madison put out there to the student population to keep them home here in Harrisonburg? The scholarship help. Dukes are going to extend their winning streak to 26 games after this win tonight. Marquise Lewis, a nice catch. Running full speed against Christian tonight, two touchdown tosses, four picks. He'll rifle this one incomplete and nearly picked off again. Nice looks tonight, and he's played against a tenacious front four. Christian floats it out of bounds, looking for win. Day. And I'd rather forget about it. And on third down, a missile ahead to Alex Wildy. Did I get the interception? I said, come on now. He said, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Here's Christian again. Has nearly picked off and got her. Oh. Still have a lot of weapons around him because the system they have in place at South Dakota is awfully good in Brookings. And you know the continuity of the coaching staff. Which is in all the FCS, the Missouri Valley Football Conference. 
Dukes will find out more about that brand of ball coming up. Houston State, but it, you know, that's where games are won and lost, right? You got to have the kids up front. Christian across the middle, passes high, and it's picked off. Fifth interception of the night. Jordan Brown, his second of the ball game as well. Many thoughts. It's impressive, but forced turnovers, when you put nine on your opponent, you're going to win every game. Here comes Darius Carter and nearly got North Dakota State. And by the way, if you are, let us know. I'd love to come watch. Pass caught on the quick slant. Mark. First down, attention. Just eight minutes remaining in South Dakota State's season. What a season it has been for the Jacks. Lewis on the fade hauls it in across the goal line here. Christian surveying all kinds of time and lobs it out of bounds. See if he brings pressure. Christian rifles a shot into the end zone and it was picked off. Might have Jimmy Moreland singing the fight song tonight. Overcome all the injuries. They're knocking people around and Marshall was able to really take advantage of it and, and, and Oh, a moot point at this juncture. It has been all JMU in the win streak. Uh, because it'll be a great ball game and, you know, two high-scoring teams. Very And First down been tremendous for us on this crew as well. I wonder if Bruce shot for us, too. <laughs> Second down pass is incomplete. Right? No doubt. Third and long. Douglas flushed. And he'll sidearm it ahead to Lewis, short of the.